calm before the storm, I think. <laughs> I think it's 60 degrees right now. It's a beautiful day. Sun's shining, but things are gonna change in a hurry. Starting tomorrow, we're gonna start getting rain, and then it's supposed to snow. I don't know, they're calling for rain tomorrow, and depending on what time it switches over, who knows what we're gonna get. They originally said they were gonna get three inches, but they have since changed that. So I've looked in my own app, and now the app has three different measurements. They've got uh, three to six inches, six to eight inches, and eight to 12 inches, all on the same app. So the, the app itself doesn't know. So anywhere from, I guess, three to 12 inches. <laughs> and then it's gonna drop in temperature. So I've got the water tank uh, ready. I'll fill it again in the morning, right? You know, while it's raining, I'll fill it again tomorrow, just to get it topped off. That way, it's nice and warm. The warm water will be going in there. I'll probably change it the temperature by 10 degrees by filling it back up. I'll probably have to put about 50 gallons in it out of a 275 gallon tank. Get that all warmed up. Of course, today's temperature is getting so hot. That's going to help increase the temperature inside the tank as it is right now. So if I can get that temperature up there to 60 degrees, it'll take days for it to cool off. Then after the snow, I always check after a big rain to make sure the well is still clean. So then I'll check the, I don't know, probably, so that'd be on uh, Wednesday, the snow is supposed to hit. So probably by Friday, Thursday or Friday, I'll check to see if the well is still clean and then fill it again. Uh, I've got all the wood covered up now. This over here had fallen over because of a, a little earthquake we had. I mean, tremor, I mean, vibration, whatever you want to call it. So I've got that all covered back up, got tarps on it, because this is the driest oak that I've got. And I don't want it to get snow covered and wet and have to put it in the house and try to dry it out again. After the snow, I'll come out with a broom and I'll sweep all that off. That way before it melts, it doesn't just melt right back onto the firewood. So just a little extra effort. I've got plenty of firewood on the porch now. Now we're supposed to drop down in temperature significantly i guess down to one degree well it's the meteorologist who knows that's the thing about meteorologists is carolyn and i were discussing this this morning back in 1981 they didn't know exactly the timing of the cold temperature so it was supposed to change from rain to snow and they didn't know the timing of it ended up we got two feet of snow well that's exactly what they're saying now depending on the timing of snow you know we get anything from zero to you know 500 inches it's just funny to me you know that was 40 years ago and they still have not improved the technology enough to figure out the difference they're still using 1930s and 40s technology with radar systems and you know they say super doppler but it's just radar they have not improved the only thing i think they've improved is being able to predict tornadoes better and even at that it's not that great you know they'll give you 15, 20 minutes warning, which is a lot better than they used to, but it's still terrible. So I know a lot of people get mad at me that I criticize meteorologists, but any other industry, any other industry except being a doctor, you have to be right. You cannot do things and be wrong. I was a consultant. You had one chance to get it right in order to maintain your customer. Meteorologists and doctors, they don't have to be right. I, I wouldn't even think they have a 50% success rate it's a terrible industry to be in, in my opinion well i guess it's actually a really good industry it's the only industry you don't have to do anything right and still get paid a fortune what a racket that is <laughs> so today uh we're gonna i got some chicken food carolyn likes being prepared oh uh, well, you know when these storms come she wants to be prepared till july i guess <laughs> no, i'm kidding no she likes being she likes to make sure we have plenty of stuff in case we have to get on the road we just wouldn't be able to we have plenty of food. We just went shopping, what, last week? Maybe two weeks ago. I don't know, it was two weeks ago. We just went shopping. Freezer's full. We got jars of food, canned meat that we canned over the summer. So we got, I think Carolyn said we got six months worth of food if we didn't change our eating habits. Of course, we got tons of rice that she wasn't counting, tons of flour that we can make breads with. You may be hearing the chickens down there. I think that's a new chicken laying an egg. She seems quite upset. Uh, after they lay a couple eggs, they don't, they're not quite that upset anymore. They make a racket, but not this bad. So I would suspect that we got another chicken laying egg. That's gonna continue to increase 
over the next few days or weeks because the days are getting longer so more and more chickens are laying eggs but one of the things carolyn wanted to make sure we had plenty of was chicken food so we went and got chicken food last night we it didn't even take a i don't know probably took an hour to get there and back hour and a half it's a good long trip but we didn't do anything while we was in town we just got the chicken food and came back so i'm going to get that put away i'm going to get the lawnmower out just so i can have it start up i try to start the lawnmower about every two weeks since i didn't winterize it i want to run it just to well i mean i have to use it during the winter so but i don't run it near as much as i do in the summer so i want to make sure that i don't forget to run it uh, past two weeks because the gasoline can go bad and i don't want that gasoline to sit in that carburetor going bad i forgot i had the chainsaw in the trailer <laughs> i probably should get that started up too but it's got stabilizer in it let's see if the tires are still aired up oh they probably could use a little bit of air but i'm not gonna that one They could use air. As long as they're not flat. Oh. oh. That's showing that the, we don't have any gas in it, but of course it's on a hill, so we'll see if that changes any. I'd rather not put any more gas in it. up better than it does on regular warm days wow that's incredible i love this lawnmower it sure has been a, a great running machine i'm going to leave it running while i load it up because it just doesn't run that often so this gets all the oils and the gases and everything warm up give it an opportunity to charge the battery also this with one hand but one of the things that is very difficult for people to, a lot of people to do is remove this thing and it took me a long time to learn it also but what you got to do if you had two hands is you got to pull that string on one side or the other but you don't pull you don't pull the paper you pull the string so I'm gonna try the other side see if, if it's any easier see if you pull the string it works and I did that one-handed. Woohoo! <laughs> Okay, so the trash can holds four bags of food you saw me put two in I just wanted to point that out in case you decide to use a trash can to hold your food that it's uh, it's four bags yeah that way you don't have to get too many or too few like I said Carolyn wanted to make sure it was full before this snowstorm but I think the two bags of the pellets last longer than crumbles crumbles it's all crumbled up but these pellets 
they, they eat all of it whereas with the crumbles they waste a lot of it throw it on the ground and it's just a big mess so it's a lot of waste so get pellets and what we're getting is 16% pellets this is for egg layers 16% egg layer pellets let's go see if there's any eggs that one was laying earlier so she may be in here trying to figure out what to do here Yeah, she hadn't laid one yet, but she was in there. Okay, so this is going to be the first significant snow that we've had, I guess since we moved in the house. Now, it snowed while we were in the house. Let me rephrase that. It snowed once while we were in the house. This is the heaviest snow we're going to have. So there's things I'm gonna keep an eye on. The one thing I wanna keep an eye on is these tarps, the roof on the chicken runs, because that's just not gonna be able to handle snow. So I'm gonna come out several times and sweep that snow off. I also gotta sweep the snow off the solar panels. Now the other thing I wanna keep an eye on is this. This is my well house. I've thought about putting legs here because it extends way out. And you can see that it's not real sturdy but I didn't design it to be sturdy. But I thought about putting legs out of here. But my fear is, is that I would come along with a lawnmower or something, bump those legs, and it'd just always be a pain. So I'm gonna leave it like it is and just sweep the snow off. I'll be able to see if it's sagging pretty easily. So if you'll click this on the screen here, I'd really appreciate it. Take you over to the other channel and get to watch a cool, funny video. I hope I can inspire you to prepare for all your weather conditions when you're living your dream. Thanks for watching.